Hey guys, it's Jen here. Um, I'm just here with an empties video today. Um, going for the straight hair look. I went out with some friends last night, so, uh, you know, switched up a little bit. It's only going to be like this for like another day. Um, but anyway, so yeah, a little different chain sc scenery here. Um, actually in the common room of my apartment. It's a little dark because it's uh, 6 o'clock almost here. Um, so sorry about that, but hopefully it's better than my last video, which was way too bright. You guys couldn't see anything. Um, but yeah, so I just have an empties video. Um, most of it is actually not even empties. It's more like I've had this for a long time and it's probably not good to use it anymore. And like random stuff I've also decided that I just don't really want. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and dive in. First up, I have a couple candles. Um, let's see here. Ooh, that one is broken. That is dangerous. So first up I have Fireside. Now this is from Bath & Body Works. It's like, like, who else, where else would you get bath, like, candles? Why can I not speak? It's like Rachel over here. Um, this candle smells like a man. It's incredible. Um, the description says a cozy blend of cedarwood, leather, and rich deep amber that warms your spirits like an evening by a crackling fire on a dark winter's night. Wow, that sounds seductive if I've ever, like, the most seductive candle scent of all time. But, love it. Oh, it's a little, little burnt because I don't know why. It's a good question. I don't know. Um, I also have one. This is from Target. Um, it was the cinnamon one. It was just a Glade thing. It was like three dollars. Didn't, I definitely noticed um, a difference between this and Bath and Body Works just on how much the room smelled like the candle. This was like very unimpressive compared to, I mean it's also smaller but um, just in general not as impressive but I needed a candle to study too and I was too broke to buy Bath and Body Works. Um, I also have a sweet cinnamon pumpkin one here from Bath and Body Works but the glass is broken, so I'm not going to pick that up. Um, next, I have Clinique Clarifying Lotion in, um, for dry combination skin. It's the 2 line. Um, I've bought this stuff a few times, and I don't know. It was okay. Um, it wasn't When I first started using this line, I loved it. But, I don't know, switching it up, switching it up. Um, let's see here. I have a few, just a two mascaras, I guess. One is this CoverGirl Lash Blast, Lash Blast Luxe. And I actually bought this, I think it was black, but it's like a maroon color. If you can, yeah, you can kind of see that. Um, and so I never used it, and now it's too dry. Irritating that I wasted money. Um, and then the falsies, which I'm so sad. It's like a little too dry and there's also practically nothing left. So, I'm gonna toss this one. I have a few right now that I like, but I'll probably go back to the falsies. Um, let's do some lip stuff. So I have four different, oh, here's another mascara. Um, my Smashbox Hyper Lash. It's just... It's actually just gone. I have the full size now, but this baby lasted me a while, and I love it. Love it. Um, also, so okay, so lip products. <laughs> Finally, um, I have this baby lips, and I know that the other broke girls are gonna like want to shoot me for not liking this, but it was so drying on my lips, and it also just didn't look very good. It was like a, it really washed me out. Um, and this was the, uh, it's like the mauve one. It's this pink one, if you can see it. Just didn't look very good on me. Made me look like I was dead. Which is not a cute look, by the way, in case you were curious. I also have this Burt's Bees um, Lip Shimmer in Papaya. And I decided to throw this out, even though I like it, but <laughs> I've had it forever. It's like super dirty and just like weird and it just needs to be thrown away. Um, then I have two lip glosses. One is one Rachel got me for Christmas. I don't even know how many years ago. Um, it's from Aerie, and I love it. It smells so good. 
it's peppermint, but again, I've had it for so long that I feel like I probably just need to throw it out at this point. And then this Wet n Wild one, which is kind of weird, like bubbles bubbled up when I opened it. Hmm. Do I want to get rid of this? Maybe I'll actually keep this one. I'll keep it for spring. I'll see if I use it in the spring. If I don't like it, then I'll, I'll toss it. But you never know. You never know. Um, all right, then I'll do some face stuff. Um, so I have a couple foundations here and BB creams I'm just going to throw away because I'm very unimpressed. I don't like them. Um, first is this Hello Flawless um, foundation from Benefit. And when I first got this, I really, really liked it. But um, now that I know more about what type of skin or what skin I have, what foundation works best for my skin, I'm not particularly inclined to use this. And it's also too dark for my skin tone. Um, so by the time my I do get tan again, it's going to be bad. And I've had this for about a year now, so I don't think you're supposed to have foundation that long. Um, yeah, it's just like really dark. I'm not going to keep it. Sad. Uh, and then I also have this Revlon BB Cream. This is also too dark for me, and I wasn't really a fan of it anyway. It made my skin really oily, and I just was like, nope, not about that. And then, so sad about this one. This is this Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream, which is supposed to be, like, amazing. And A, it was too dark for me. And B, it, this is the lightest shade. Um, and B, I just didn't like it that much. And I didn't start using it until a while after I got it. And so I couldn't return it at that point, I don't think. But, so yeah, 30 dollars $34 down the drain? Something around there. So that's a little frustrating, but what you gonna do? Um, so just a couple odds and ends left. I have, whoa, um, Urban Decay Primer Potion. I just ran out of this. Um, little size I got with one of my naked palettes. Um, I did really like this stuff, but I've started using just like cream bases on my eyes instead. So I'm wearing something more dramatic. Then I have this e.l.f. Wow, can't, there's not even a label on anymore. <laughs> it's the e.l.f. like shimmer, I don't even know what it's called. Um, shimmer something, and this is in Lilac Petal. I used the hoop out of this on uh, our freshman year of college because um, so I was like toss it in my bag if I was staying at my boyfriend's and then I looked like I was like a normal person in the next morning. So it was plus, but I haven't used it very often recently and it's looking a little ratty. So I'm gonna I'm gonna toss it. It was it was from Elf. It was probably like a dollar. Um, and then last two is one is I finished that this Maybelline. A instant age rewind eye corrector um, I have a second one right now but I think after that I'm gonna go ahead and try the Lumi concealer that I've heard a lot about that people like um, so we'll see this is still good stuff I recommend it um, this one was actually a little dark for me after the summer when it, like after the summer ended and then last but not least is this Revlon color stay um, smoky shadow stick and I have had this for a long time. Um, I used this champagne side, but as you can see, the little thing fell out and is like stuck. I don't even know what happened. Um, and I didn't really use this side as much, the brown side, but I loved this champagne stick. It was perfect. So I might have to go back and get this just for this champagne side. Um, I've been missing it in my collection. But um, this is all for today. I guess I will put this probably up tomorrow with my post. So you'll see this tomorrow because it's Sunday. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great week. And you haven't been checking out our posts more often, you definitely should. And leave any comments below if you like these kind of videos and if you have any questions about any of these products. So I will catch you guys later. Bye.